Hi, my beautiful peeps. What's up, Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl, Tiona in the house. So, guys, um, it's been a while, and as I know, you guys know what happened. Um, when I'm more comfortable, and you know, when when it all sink in, I will come live. I will make a little video and talk about it, but not right now. All right. So today, um, I'm gonna make a Jamaican Christmas fruit cake. All right um i have my kids at home my son they really love it and i also want to make a video um you know updated video just to push out we have to give god thanks for life love upon each other always tell each other you love them and yeah remember to smile cry a little if you want but remember to smile at the end of the day all right and give god thanks for friends and family and i kind of prep everything a little bit um this I have from last year okay and I'm gonna try to get like two cups out of it I'm gonna just puree it with a little bit of rum and um, wine because it's already been soaking but it want a little bit you know I have my brown sugar you can use granulated sugar I'm gonna use four medium-sized eggs <clears throat> if the eggs are super super big you can use three and I have two cups of all-purpose flour depends on the ingredients you can go for cup and a half two cups. I have a stick and quarter um of butter so basically you want to get about half cup to three quarter cups of butter okay and I'm gonna um add my sugar like this that's about cup and quarter sugar right you can use cup and a half if you really want it sweet but the fruits sweet sugar sweet you don't want too you much can go ahead coffee. and you can um sieve everything together but i already sieve my two cups of flour so i just make it a little bit easier now um this is my mace the outer covering of the nutmeg i'm not gonna put too much i'm just gonna put half teaspoon okay because you have other spice you want to add to it ground or oh, ground all spice i'm not gonna put much of this guys i'm gonna go in with quarter because it's one cake. If I'm doing two cakes, I will add half. I'm going in just quarter because I have lots of stuff to add to it. This is my ground nutmeg. I'm going to put half, half teaspoon of nutmeg. And remember, all spice is pimenta, guys. Pimenta is very strong, so you don't want to overdo it, okay? And this is my cinnamon. I'm gonna add half teaspoon of cinnamon. And let me see how much salt in this container. We want about half teaspoon salt. Or quarter, it's up to you. Add what you like. Whoa. Lad, guys, I want teaspoon. <laughs> Maybe to go back a little bit of salt because I really don't want the salt. Apparently, I want teaspoon salt. Maybe they are putting ice something. Whoa, let me take back some guys because I don't like one teaspoon. So, let me take back a little. Okay. <laughs> oh, let me did a measure. But, anyhow, that means you have one teaspoon um, uh, cinnamon. You have to see with me. All right, guys, we don't want so much in there. Let me take back a little bit. Okay. So, just put half, half teaspoon. One teaspoon, it's okay, you know, guys. You can put one. It's okay. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, I don't want to make it overbearing all right so that's the reason why two cups of flour so we need three teaspoon baking powder so teaspoon and a half for every cup all right one two three all right that's it i'm just gonna mix this up you can go ahead and sieve it again if you want but i'm not doing that because i sieved my flour already so i'm just gonna mix this and put it one side and this is it for the dry ingredients. See, so look, we're gonna put that aside. I'm try to make two cups of this um, soak fruit, all right? I will leave a link of how I made it. I made it last year. This is over a year in the fridge. We're aiming for a cup and a half or two. If you get a cup and a half, it's fine, but two cups, it's it's the ideal i'm gonna just shake out this with some wine i'm not gonna add any extra wine because wine been soaking all year i'm gonna put like quarter cup and i'm gonna put about 
two tablespoons of rum. Use any rum, white rum of your choice. Oh my goodness. And it's been soaking for over a year in all that goodness, rum and wine and all of that. But I'm just gonna use this to blend it out. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this. You can just do it like this, pulp it like that. And if it doesn't mix, just get a spatula or spoon and stir it and do it again. You're gonna get a spoon, give it a stir. So the rest can blend up. Blend it to how you like it. If you like it with the big pieces, go ahead. If you don't like it with big pieces, you puree it. This is what I want. This will give me two cups. This is two cups. Okay. I'm going to make it so easy, guys, for you. So you don't have to be back and forth. Um, this is my vanilla. I'm going to add like one two i'm gonna go and go do three today usually i do two but i, I think i feel i feel vanilla <laughs> i feel like vanilla today all right this is my mixed essence it has rose water aniseed all of them something they want whole person something night i'm gonna put uh um, let's put half half teaspoon don't want to put much it's, it's strong let's put quarter to half teaspoon okay don't overdo it see me i'm on I'm on extra here. Smells so good to finish. I'm gonna go ahead and put quarter, quarter teaspoon, right? And it done, basically done, guys. Oh, none left in there. Done. And that's it. I'm just making it easy, guys. You can do it anyhow you want it, or you can pour it in the container and then you put the spice in it, guys. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. Mm. all right Ooh. smells so good all right i'm gonna put this one side i'm gonna take out the chalaza the little white stuff in it and then after i cream this i add it together i have one lemon you want to make sure you rinse it off all right we're gonna try to get um like a tablespoon of lemon zest you can use this part but i'm gonna use this part here so i can have it you know a little bit better And we need some lemon juice too, right? But I'm zesting it first. I think this is good enough, guys. You don't wanna, <clears throat> you don't wanna overdo this thing, guys. It, it, it go bitter. It can be bitterish, okay? So be careful with this zesting thing. All right, don't overdo it. You know, give it flavor as well, and. If you don't even have a lemon zest, you can use lime and the most, um, the best one to use also is if you have orange, you give it a nice flavor, right? So basically you can get like a tablespoon here, right? So with this, you're just going to put the tablespoon. You don't have to measure it. You can if you want. You don't want to overdo it. All right. I zest it. It won't taste raw. We're just gonna cream this together, all right? Have your butter at room temperature, all right, guys? So it's easy to cream. I'm gonna add the eggs little by little. So this is what I have now just gonna squeeze a little bit of I need about a tablespoon of lemon juice I'm gonna mix this in so you're gonna get two cups all right it's two cups guys I don't have to measure you need two cups or a cup and a half okay so this I'm gonna use on the cake after all right guys quick and easy so you have your flour base and you have this look at that goodness just take your time and stir it in i'm 
this is my browning but it's a, it's like a burnt sugar um i got it from the west indian store you can use regular brownie you need about four tablespoons i have this one I got it from the west indian so it's a little bit hard so what i had to do i had to put some in a container and melt it all right so i know clump up so i'm just gonna put some this is a teaspoon i'm just gonna waver it all right i'm gonna put four that's four let's put five teaspoon and see how it goes if you want more later we put it all right i don't want to make it too bitterish all right i'm gonna give this a little mix i think i'm gonna leave it at that so i put five teaspoon and then I'm just gonna add my flour base in two portion. Go ahead and preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna bake this for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes or so. Or over in 15 minutes. Make sure you fold this in well before you think if you want to put anything else because you don't want to put too much liquid. Alright? Just take your time and fold it in nicely. It's up to you how dark you want it. Alright? I don't think I want mine darker than this. It's too much dark make it tends to be bitterish so just watch the amount of um, browning you're putting in it and this is just for one cake make sure you mix up the bottom once you mix it guys that's it you don't have to overdo it just make sure you mix up everything mm, I can smell the wine in it my hands are tired guys Whee! but this is it I have one baking pan all right i add some grease proof paper to the bottom and some butter all right when you see it's like this guys it should drop a little bit more but we're gonna work with this because i'm gonna saturate it with the wine after so this should do it i don't want to change the texture of my cake more you add liquid more your cake have a different texture okay so and we're gonna pop it in the oven <laughs> look at that guys when you see that texture you know it will come out really nice oh, creamy and nice creep out everything not leave nothing no matter how you want to look now guys if you want to look like a poop it's gonna taste really delicious all right i know it looked like a little bit much in it but this is good because it's not passing three quarter okay just go ahead and level it out like that like so i want to taste it guys mm stamp out any extra air bubble we're gonna pop this in the oven i'm gonna actually do it for about an hour and a half hour and 15 minutes make sure it's soak up and everything i'll come back and tell you the exact time because each cake sometimes this one is a little bit deeper sometimes you don't make it so deep and it bake quicker all right you can another thing you can do you can put um a container another baking dish with a little bit of water in the bottom of the oven if you like which i always do okay to make it bake nicely and i'll come back all right my peeps basically i just took it out and i check it nothing coming up so it's good here i have my wine the rest of the wine and i put it in this one you can get these at the dollar warmer dollar dollar tree or so so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna juke it up a little bit and as you can see guys the cake is very nice now you don't want it burn all right okay then saturate it and when it cool down if you want it really really moist you can go ahead and saturate it some more 
and some more and some more and some more until you can't saturate it no more do it to your liking but i like mine in between all right i don't like it too much mushy mushy like mm, sappy sappy and i don't like it too dry you know like in between mm -hmm. in between <laughs> i'll wind this all right guys and this is gonna preserve it you can put more or less put to your liking it's really thick and this is how it's looking you want to take off this part so you see saturated and moist and soft all right so this is how it's looking i'm gonna cut a little slice for you guys And this is how it's looking guys you see what i'm talking about that's some of the fruits there really yeah, delicious Ooh. oh my goodness look at this guys i told you this is just piece of the fruit mm. 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 oh my god guys it's amazing and it's not sweet look at that moist but have a little you know flakiness at the same time you see that mm, amazing look the crumbs in it the guys look funny oh boy oh boy okay mm. look at it quick look at it and it's dark you know wow this is how I like it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, this is it. I love upon me and I love upon you. I'm going to have my son to come and taste I'll it. Taste it with me, no. Just it's break off each, break it and show them the texture. Break which part? Just take. Oh, wow. Yeah. Taste yeah. it. <laughs> Sonny said, eat it. Oh. Like, because I'm going to eat it, it could have That's taken. That's crazy because, like, I just brushed my teeth mm -hmm. and it still tastes really good. Yeah. I I don't like it too, too sweet, but the texture is like, wow. Break piece more top part of me. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Let me taste it also. Wow, the texture. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Focus. Oh, you know, focus there. Mm. Mm -mm, I mean, not a canine. Yes. And it's not too sweet, right? Yeah. And when it's not too sweet, you can have more of it. Mm. That's good, that way. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I can sell this one. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys. Pass. Um, I'm here. I'm here eating the crumbs. I'm here eating the crumbs. <laughs> they're just little, little crumbs. Not Bye, guys. Feel.